Hey everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my winter coffee bar. So I'm not quite ready to pull out any Valentine's Day decor yet. That'll probably be in a couple weeks around the 1st of February. So I want to just, my coffee bar is very bare as you can see back there. So I just wanna kind of warm it up for winter, usually using mostly neutrals, blacks and whites. And then I have some, a little bit of greenery that I wanna add in and stuff just to kind of warm it up using some of my um, white ceramic houses also. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I will show you what I'm going to be using or trying to incorporate in, and then we will go ahead and get started trying to decorate this coffee bar for winter. So this is gonna be you know, most of the stuff I'm going to be trying to incorporate in, I might grab some things from other places. I'm not sure yet, but um, this would be the bulk of it. So most of it I've had. I don't really think I got too much new, a couple little things, but for the most part, I've had it all. So the, this is new though. This is um, Coffee Makes Everything Better. I found this is in part of the spring line at Hobby Lobby, and I think with the 40% discount, it was around $14 or something. So I think it's super cute with the galvanized metal and wood. And then if you guys have been around for a while, you know I try to hang everything with that, especially that is pretty light. This is very light with command strips, so then I don't ruin the walls because I like to change the decor so much. I don't want to keep putting holes in the walls. So I have my couple of my glass canisters, some Ray Dunn. These are two cone trees that I literally threw together. They were under two minutes each one this morning. So easy to make, but I like the white um, look with the thick yarn, and I think they're just really cute. And then this is my mug rack I always use. And then I have a lot of Ray Dunn mugs, but not just, I try to incorporate a bunch of different kinds. So I love these. This says, baby, it's cold outside. This was from Target probably like two years ago. I also love this one. It just says, let it snow. Same thing from Target. This was on clearance at Hobby Lobby the other day. Um, you're cute and all, but I'm not sharing my coffee with you. I thought that was really cute. That was in the clearance section. Um, love this. This was also at Hobby Lobby. I assume that snowflakes on there and because it was in the Christmas clearance section. So, I mean, it was like, I don't know, 70 cents or something. So I loved that. And then I have these, um, Buffalo plaid ones that are from Hobby Lobby in the fall collection. And there is actually a couple on their super clearance sale right now. And they're, they're dirt cheap. So, um, I have this general store wood crate that I had during my Christmas coffee bar video. That is what I found on Michael's on the major clearance sale also back um, at the beginning of the Christmas season. And then I love this pine. I mean, it's just, to me, it doesn't scream Christmas at all. It is pine, but it doesn't really look like it. I don't know, I love this one. So I found this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those during the Christmas season. I might go back and see if they actually have some on clearance. So I kept that one out. I just think it looks like flocked pine. I did keep my white houses out. I think they're always neutral and great to keep out during the winter season. And then um, this Rise and Shine, it's coffee time. That actually was new also from Hobby Lobby. And I think it was like with, so wall decor was 50% off. So it was normally $11.99, so I got it for like $6. I thought that was cute to add on. Of course, I have my marshmallow mugs. I'm probably not gonna use all, I have four of them. Probably I'm not gonna use them all right now because I have tiered trays that I also wanna use too. So, you know, I'm gonna see which ones I wanna use with that. And then these are just my little espresso and cafe mugs. And just have a riser here, sugar bowl, cream bowl over here. This was one of the DIYs that I made, so I'm gonna keep that out. My glass canisters and this little wooden tree. So that is everything that I'm going to use. And then here's one quick look at the coffee bar. I took everything down besides the Keurig. So I'm just gonna give everything a good wipe down and then we'll start decorating. So I wanna start out by just wiping everything down and getting it nice and clean. I'm still using the Mrs. Myers Iowa Pine. I absolutely love it. So then I wanted to fill my glass containers. So I have these cookies by Pepperidge Farm. 
Um, I had Oreos in there before, they're gone now, so I figured I would try these. I like to have these with coffee. So I'm just going to fill my glass containers and then I'm going to use my black and white baker's twine just to add a little something to the glass jars. So I'm going to wrap them around the lip of the jar and then just tie them in a simple little bow. And after I'm done, I'll be placing those on the upper shelf. So as I've said before, I really like to decorate the upper shelf before I hang any pictures above it so that I know how high I want my pictures to hang. I'm not hiding anything I think you know me too well I'm always coming up short on words You should know that by now We've been down this road So I'm not sure what you think you heard So you will see that I really just play around with this shelf and I think how I leave it right now is actually it changes just a tiny bit that you'll see at the very end. Look into my eyes I can show you what I have to say If you still can't decide If you still think I'm lying So I played around a lot with these lower shelves. I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to put in that general store box, but then I remembered those two vases, the sweater covered vases that I made in the winter DIY projects, and I think they look really, really pretty in there. And I don't even have any greenery in there because nothing will fit, but I just like the looks of the actual sweater vases with the twine and the snowflake. So 
I ended up putting those in there along with that Ray Dunn home uh, vase with some lamb's ear greenery just to put a little bit of greenery down on that lower shelf. And then I added in my little white houses. And then of course Kova had to come in and have her two seconds on camera because that's just what she loves to do. So I ended up, like I said, putting the houses down there. I think it looks really pretty and just kind of warms it up. And this is how the coffee bar ended up coming out. I'm super happy with it. I love that coffee sign. And then just the, I always love the simplicity of the glass canisters. And I just used two of my marshmallow mugs. The other ones will go on my tiered trays. And the coffee menu sign has been up there for a while. I got that at Hobby Lobby back, I think, in the spring. And then down on this shelf, I just added that simple white tree that I DIY'd real quick this morning and just added in, you know, I like the mix of mugs, different shapes and different types. And I have that mom's kitchen canister on there for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that there. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to put there. And then, like I said, with these lower shelves, I just added the vases and the houses just to warm it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this gives you a little bit of winter decorating inspiration. I have quite a few more winter decorating videos coming up in the next week or two. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. And uh, if you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing. Thank you guys again so much for all your support and all your amazing comments. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Thanks for watching.